Hello everyone and welcome to yet another episode of Emerging Women Leaders in Manufacturing. Today with us we have Ms. Priya Gandhi. Ms. Priya Gandhi is a Deputy Director Business Operation for Hester Biosciences Limited. Uh, Ms. Gandhi joined her father's business in 2016 and taking care of overall business operations of Hester. Ms. Gandhi is graduated from Srishti School of Art, Design and Technology, Bangalore and she has recently completed her post-graduation from prestigious ISB Hyderabad. So, with this, uh, welcome Ms. Gandhi and uh, I would like my I and my viewer would like to know more about you and Hester Biosciences. So, welcome once again. Uh, so, Ms. Gandhi, to begin with, can you tell us a little bit more about yourself and Hester Biosciences? First of all, uh, thank you very much for having me uh, over here. I think uh, something, this initiative of having a Women's Week to celebrate Women's Day is a really good initiative. I think days like this give us an opportunity to talk about how women have evolved over the past few years and how they're being empowered. So thank you so much for having me a part of these other very successful women uh, who you're interviewing as this initiative. Um, I think I joined my family business in the year 2016. I wasn't going to join it, but it was a very organic decision that kind of got formulated upon me doing like a small assignment in my father's company and then me getting more and more involved and attached. Um, at Hester, we manufacture animal vaccines and health products. Um, my father's a first generation entrepreneur and he started this company uh, around 30 years ago. And he's been the only one from the family having an executive position of uh, you know, being involved in managing the company right now. And I think I, uh, it's been four or five years. Uh, I've been getting more and more involved now and uh, handling our overall operations. Um, so yeah. Interesting. So when we talk about biosciences as an industry or pharmaceutical as a whole, we can see more and more women leaders at a middle position, maybe a head of a department or of a head of a R&D or a QA, etc. But when we talk about a leadership position or a mem uh, management position, very few leaders like you are actually there when it comes to pharma and biosciences. So, we just wanted to understand a little bit more about your journey of last four or five years. And my viewers would like to know that are there any stereotypes you deal with being a woman leader in a male dominant industry? I think you very rightly said that in uh, biosciences and pharmaceuticals, I think the bottom layer of the pyramid do have a lot of women because it is considered to be uh, fairly distributed industry in that sense there are women who are working as executives in these two industries but yes as and when we go up in the pyramid i think the ratio kind of gets a little uh, mismatched and there are lesser women on top so that is correct uh, i think even when i joined the business i think very few women were on top in the management level um, i think personally for me over the past few years um, having passed um, meaningful experiences and uh, just sort of getting my way up there by uh, you know contributing and getting as getting getting more and more involved in the business sort of uh, started having people accept me for who I am as opposed to looking at me as someone who's just simply joined her father's business or even keeping gender in between I think what really uh, got me more comfortable and confident is over the years uh, I kind of you know put my hard work in and my involvement such that I such that I think I kind of passed on the burden of being accepted on people because my confidence sort of let me you know contribute and have a say in things that I started doing uh, over the past few years so I think that's to do with my journey so far um, speaking of stereotypes I think a couple of them I think um, people kind of sometimes assume that style of leadership of a woman would kind of be different compared to a man. It will be a little bit more softer, it may not be as effective as efficient. I feel like style of leadership is something which is different from any person, it's got nothing to do with gender. And I think yes, women may have a different way of kind of executing and approaching things, but that 
doesn't necessarily mean they can't make things happen and i think that can only we as women can kind of change that through our persistence i think another one would probably be um people assume the lack of permanency of involvement of women because they're more loyal to their duties at home or i guess you know just family they're more uh, oriented towards family i think that is also kind of changing i think roles even at home are start, have started getting more balanced uh, i think gone are those days where only women are expected to make certain sacrifices um so i think i think that balance is now coming uh, coming into play so women are having the freedom to choose um, a life wherein they can give more importance to their work and grow professionally so i think so as you rightly put it across the ecosystem is uh, emerging stronger nowadays where more and more women can think about uh, taking a leadership position because now everybody is aware and there is everybody is playing their fair role in the personal as well as professional life exactly yes good so moving forward uh, our viewers would like to know a little bit more about hester because we have recently we are yet to come out completely but we are slowly and gradually there is a recovery post covid so how is your business shaping up you know in this during this tough time i think um, at hester since we come under biologicals we were never under a shut down so if i speak of purely operational level i think there was never a hit by covid in the sense we were always operational because it kind of comes under the essential goods and services but yes of course environment reacted differently so at the front level where at the field level of course there was we have sort of faced a hit uh but at the same time i think we were operational throughout and i think covid gave us a great downtime to sort of take some time off and you know relook at our processes relook at our systems Uh, a lot of things that we kind of started taking for we were taking for granted or we were overlooking i think we got we started getting more and more involved in some mundane things which can be small but make a lot of difference um in our processes so i think we took this little time to kind of restructure ourselves reorganize ourselves um put some bigger goals and plans uh, in front of us to sort of take that year and just plan better so every cloud has a silver lining similarly you took it this covid scenario very positively and used it for the betterment and growth of the organization for the future that is really really great rather than complaining you know you know how to make a best out of it that is more important moving forward uh, you know apart from biosciences both you and your father have transferred your passion in aviation into a leading professional in the field of general aviation in india what would you share with women who have dreams but somewhere lack of passion to transform dreams into reality i think so uh two years ago uh so my father's had a really really long um passion on aviation about aviation and wanting to somehow get involved in it and contribute towards general aviation in the country so we started an overall uh, institute which wherein we impart uh, flying training we give out charter services we maintain we are into maintenance of aircrafts um i think aviation is that one industry wherein you can kind of mix your passion and profession at the same time only people who are so passionate to take it up can you know be involved in it and it's also that one industry where involvement of women is looked up to. Uh, up upon um a female pilot is always celebrated and it's always very exciting when you know you have two women pilot in your in as a part of the crew as opposed to say male or one man and one woman so it, it really is that one industry where women are welcomed a lot so i think everyone every and even we're kind of now seeing that uh times have changed more and more women are kind of getting involved and in taking this up as a profession so i think uh it's at one industry where there's a lot of space for women and it's it's people are excited to have women pilot and pursue aviation okay good so very few of our viewers are aware the other side of miss priya gandhi and that side is bharatnatyam 
which you are passionate about so how do you manage both aspect of passion and work because from pharma to aviation i can still <laughs> understand but from aviation to bharatnatyam it requires complete dedication so how do you manage both <laughs> i think um, this has been a way of my life since a very long time i was very little when i started this so i think it's i think it's an extension of my work completely if i may say so because um it really helps me balance out it really helps me you know just enjoy things because i think i i've learned so much uh through my journey of dancing and i've been doing it since i was very little so like i said i think it's just an extension of my work and i have to continue it otherwise there's an imbalance so yeah. so there is no difference between two work <laughs> so there's no work and passion but work and work well or so, passion and passion and passion and passion yeah that's yeah. a right way to put it across yeah. Yeah. so uh, miss gandhi as per you you know what does women empowerment mean to you um i think apart from women having equal opportunity as men uh, to flourish i think what it personally means to me is um all the women having an environment such that we a uh, create this sort of a sisterhood wherein we are not competing with each other and not seeing each other as threats and sort of being there for each other and you know celebrating each other's successes rather than looking at it as looking at it as a threat so i think that for me is what women empowerment entails so it was a very powerful message when we talk about women should not look other women as a threat but a companion yes, and absolutely. it could be a mutual growth for both of them yeah. so with this i'll move to my last question so are there any tips you would like to share with emerging women leaders from the bioscience industry i think bioscience is that one industry which is one of the very old professions and it's going to continue to be here you know even right now we're seeing with covid and you know so many things happening i think biosciences healthcare etc are those industries which are going to continue to be around but having said that it's highly emerging it's highly competitive you know um, things keep things keep changing and evolving so i think anybody who wants to make a career in biosciences to also um, look at it as an opportunity to kind of bring change in this and sort of bring evolution such that it doesn't get such that any one process or any one way of doing a certain method isn't uh, sort of set, even if it's it needs to keep changing and evolving so you have to sort of cater to that change so to always sort of have lofty goals in mind and not just enter it for complacency and because it's been there and just to just to take it at another level um so look at it as an opportunity for themselves and sort of have great goals um also keep in mind that times have changed uh, we're all looking at women who kind of come and uh, take up leadership positions in companies uh, which are into any field now so to definitely keep that in mind and set higher goals great with this uh, once again on behalf of CII young indians amdabad chapter and faber infinite consulting i would like to thank you for your uh, precious time and i am sure by your thoughts and your talk many of our women leaders out there they will definitely get inspired uh, i would also like to take this opportunity to thank our partner round table india and rotary international for providing us a platform to spread the word thank you very much madam thank you so much thank for you. having me thank you thank you